This 304 grabbed this DJ by the neck because he rejected her when she tried twerking on him. Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. So as you guys can see while you're watching this, this man's obviously very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable and wants her off him. We don't know if he has a wife. We don't know if he has a girlfriend. We don't even have to jump to those conclusions because maybe he just doesn't want to be bothered, right? When she grabbed his throat, she said, I'm not taking no for an answer. She was speaking from embarrassment. People were recording her, recording her being rejected. And so she couldn't handle it and then had to say, I'm not taking no for an answer, which would be crazy if we reverse the roles. But let's think about what just happened here. She starts twerking, right? Next after that, she realizes she's not getting that man's attention. And so she starts to touch him. He starts reacting in a way where he's showing obviously that he's uncomfortable and she starts twerking even more sexually at this point she's desperate and she realizes that she has to do something drastic she doesn't want to take this l tries to climb up on top of him he's now saying hey hey no and that's when she grabbed his throat and then he grabbed her by the wrist to take her off this would be classified as essay and the question is how many times does this happen but men just choose not to speak on it but i saw something else that was really concerning in the comment sections i saw a lot of thirsty comments right men who think that their life purpose is to chase women men who don't know how to have any type of um control and know how to say no to a woman like this commenter male commenter who said bro tripping and then put the gif of the guy who was eating watermelon i'm assuming trying to show that that's what he would do to her and it just reminds me that there are a lot of guys out here who wouldn't have turned that down. There are a lot of guys out here who, when a woman, um, regardless of how she treats them, insufferable she is, no matter what, they give their power to a woman seductive ways. These men are often also manipulated by these women, very strongly so. Someone responded back to that guy with this photo and a caption that read, this is you afterwards. What's up guys, I'm here to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Mac work i can't count how many times people have reached out to me and said bro thank you so much for telling me about mac work in my dms sending me messages saying bro thank you so much mac has really helped me he's helped me reach my goals i've lost this much weight it's happened so many times and i can't help but think that there's somebody right now who's thinking i need to do this but listen i know some of you are a little bit hesitant about working with an online personal trainer here's the truth you're overcomplicating it if you're wondering whether this is ideal for you, I'll tell you this. There are two types of people who this would really, really be beneficial for. The first type is somebody who has a goal that they've never reached before. Sure, you can go online and say, how do I lose such and such pounds, gain muscle? Or you can have somebody do the work for you and you could cut back on making a bunch of mistakes and have a personal fitness coach that's referenced by yours truly. The second person who's ideal for this would fit something more like what I really got out of this. I don't have the time, bro. I am serving coffee every day. I'm a barista. There's a lot of information out there. And if you want somebody who could do the work for you and you just want to connect with a personal trainer who would give you a meal plan and show you workouts and also show you videos on how to do those workouts, then this would be ideal for you as well. Listen, no more excuses. Get fit anywhere, anytime with Mac Work and hit the link pinned at the top of the comment section and start your fitness journey today. Trust me, you won't regret it. Somebody else here added, this kind of stuff doesn't impress men anymore. At least men who have standards and self-respect. Yes, it does not. Somebody else here says, if this was reversed, that guy would be in handcuffs on his way to prison. 
Here's another person who added, man about his money. He ain't impressed by no cat and twerking. Let that man get his bread and move on. Somebody else here added, a man that can say no is the most powerful man and it's to be admired and respected. This is true. Another comment he read, as women, we must always respect when men say no. Also, shaking my head, very disturbing. A man that can turn down a woman sexually is very respected because it is rare regardless of what you see in the comment section down below what people tell you most men fold offering sex and no man is above that temptation no man is above that temptation right we all have situations where we look back and think i gave too much attention and time to that opportunity yes but you learn from that right you grow it shouldn't be your general trend of character but more uh, mishap, right? In, in, in that doesn't happen often. And you are actively also fighting against that. Because these chicks, the reason why she was surprised is because she knows in a lot of cases, men give in. She's wondering, why isn't he taking it? Why isn't he taking the bait? What, what's happening? This is different. Usually, all I have to do is twerk. And a man's already not thinking straight. And he wants what he sees. Somebody else here says she's out of line. This is not okay. Here's another commenter that says, I've been essayed multiple times similar to this. Nothing gets done about it because we live in a double standard society. This is true. Look at his body language. He clearly doesn't want any part of what's going on, but she literally forces herself on him. Please men and women pick up on body language. Know when to stop. Another person here added, that is the Jezebel spirit, followed by another comment that reads, they'll rather die than be rejected. I think that's a pretty powerful comment. Rejection is a tough thing, and men experience rejection because they're usually the ones that are expected to make the first move. I, I almost wonder if women did most of the approaching, cold approaching men I wonder, you know, how differently they would respond to that consistent rejection because there's a consistent rejection when you're cold approaching, which is really dead right now, which you have this modern dating market and feminism to thank for that. Somebody else here says, babe, rest, leave it for someone who wants it, which is followed by this final comment that reads, this is very embarrassing. That girl needed to chill, especially if he's not her man, definitely not her man at all definitely not her man at all as always guys i'm curious to know what do you think leave your comments down below i appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of the coffee pot till next time i'm out peace